Hi guys, welcome back to another tray. Um, I did this like two weeks ago, but I haven't had a chance to uh, to record this. I did order the work leg for this, but you know, I, I just was busy with something else, so um, now I have the time to do it. So this is a long consolidating uh, long consolidation tray, and this is Gilead. Okay, and uh, look at the sideway consolidation here, like uh, more than an hour and a half, and it's pop. Okay, so this is where we're gonna focus the tray. Okay, and this is a three minute chart through the whole day, throughout the day chart. Okay, as usual, we want to go to the uh, daily chart. The daily chart says a lot. So basically, um, this is you know the day, and it gap up, and then uh, because of the news, and then is when open, it went all the way back down here and retest the support and then uh, sideways consolidated bounce you know you won't be able to see that un unless in the daily chart let's just look at the 30 minute chart and look at this beautifully if you look at the 30 minute chart you're like oh wow nice support right here at the 80 all right and it did see it went down hit the 80 bounce back and then wick around and then pop again all right so that you know, you won't be able to see all this stuff, but if you look at the 30 minute chart, you would see the support level at the 80. And you know, that something you could make some bet right there if you want, depending on what your style is. But for this, you know, if you're going to trade this part right here, you know, it's good to know the uh, the support level. Okay. All right. So this is the, uh, the trade here, the one minute chart and the three minute chart. Okay. And um, this is how it look closely. Okay. So let before you trade, you want to know the catalyst for this trade, right? So basically, the um, remdesivir uh, is one of the drug for the COVID nineteen. Okay, it got um, positive uh, news. So basically, it gap up pre market. Okay, and then it went down right here, and then around eleven thirty, eleven forty, somewhere around here, Fauci came out and confirmed the news. See the thing is with remdesivir, if you know, is an IV medication and. Uh, is kind of it was indicated for a patient with severe uh, you know status you know patient about to die and stuff and then they give this and then this reduced the, the mortality rate of it and then now I think they, they say that you know if you give this medication to patient it reduced the hospitalization hospitalization times so um, now you know it get the, the the good part of it and you know People would just jump on it, but you know, like like I said, this is an IV medication. You cannot give it at home. You have to be hospitalized. So I mean, yeah, it's a good thing. That's why it gap up and then went open and went down, and then sideways, you know, and then this is when around one eleven forty, Fauci came out and then you know, say that yeah, this this has potential, and you know, that's when star this gap up. But you know, that's just the catalyst. Uh, you know, so so you know what what drive the stock okay and let's look at the uh, the technical okay so basically the technical is that you know the, the you want first you want to confirm the relative strength this was decent uh, the the general market were up around two percent something that day and this was around two percent so relative wise to the market is decent okay and the most important thing about this is that every time you see this kind of consolidation, the longer it is, the better. So um, 90 minutes, an hour and a half, that means a lot of people is stuck in the trade. So once this trade resolve, you know, one is resolved, you know, either it's go down or break out, um, one side going to lose. And because it's been trading for like an hour and a half, there are a lot of people involved. The volume was decent. Uh, for for this day, I, I wasn't sure what is it. I could check, but at this point, I'm not. <laughs> I haven't done this for two weeks, so right now I'm just recording this video right now. Okay, so high, high, and high, low. So th 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 this formation looked like an ascending triangle, but I don't think it is because usually ascending triangle, you want to touch this. It's very equally, but this looked like an ascending triangle. Okay, but I think it's more like a sideways consolidation to me with higher low okay and um, as you could see here the buying okay so this right here buying but right here the buying is actually lower and this is a false breakout here 
But you know, false breakout happen all the time. But you know, not the reason where like people think a trap. You know, the seller come in and sell this. There's something else to it. I'll explain it to you after this. Okay. Uh, it's with the false breakout. Okay. So a lot of people will just say bullshit like it's a trap, it's a trap. But if you look more into depth with other things in combination, you know why it's a false breakout. I'll explain it to you guys later. Listen up, a couple more minutes, okay? So entry point for this trade is definitely, you know, depend. You could you could come in right here, you could come in right here, but you know. Could be a problem because the top is right here. So usually you want to enter at the top, and this part right here, I believe, it reached the top. So this is where you could enter, and the stop loss. You could put your stop loss here, or your stop loss here, depend on your strategy. Okay, but at this point right now, I would, if anything, I would say below this. If it went and closed below this on the longer timeline. And uh, when it break big under this, I think you have to close out the trade because the trend is broken. Okay, so with this uh, line right here, so right now here is coincidentally is below that. So I think the stop loss should be right here or right here, or just below this. Depend on how you trade. Okay, but entry point should be around here or here. But right here, you know, if you Know what you're looking for. You might not want to come into here, but some of you might want to come into here, but not full size. You want to come into here maybe half size, and then if it does go back up, you want to come in to that. Okay, so that's the thing with this trade. So basically, it's very simple. It's just that is a long waiting trade. You could put an automatic system and and let it you know notify you when it comes to some point, and you could come into the trade or you could put. A uh, automatic trade setup for this. Uh, it's it's a long, complicated. It's not complicated. Just a long trade. Okay, and uh, let's talk about the false breakout. Okay, so as usual, if you know, I mean, you could trade this. You know, this this formation, the technical part. Um, it's probably give you like a sixty percent chance of winning, but you incorporate the S and P into it. It's gonna give you higher, maybe seventy percent chance of winning if you incorporate the S and P. Correctly to the chart. All right, and let's talk about that's false breakout. As you could see here, right, the S and P, it's rising, rising, but yet this sucker is just staying sideways. Okay, it it need to make a decision. Okay, so if you know uh, about the technical, right, this look like a rising channel, right, rising ways, rising channel, and number three. Okay, one breakout, two breakout. Three breakout, okay. So every time there's three breakout, there should be, uh, you know, a sell or a break under, okay. And if you look at the volume for S and P here, breakout here, decent volume, but it's not high, okay. Breakout again here, decent, not even decent volume, all right. And then the third breakout here, look at the volume, it's not a lot to confirm anything, okay. And then yet it's be at right at this level. You know, like right at this two hundred, uh, the top here. You know, when you know when when it go like that slowly up to this point, to the uh, to the high of the day, you know it's gonna retrace. Okay, so at that point, I right hear if you jump in at this point and you know it hit the high of the day. Most likely, the general market gonna retrace, and you're gonna get stuck. And luckily, with this trade, is that it retraced to the is you know the channel is still up, and you know it did not go down to a lot. It 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 kind of start out as 20 days moving average, and then move back up again. If this break down the 20 day moving average and go down to the um, VWAP right here of the uh, S and P, this trade would would die, definitely. Or you could have uh, it could go the low to this low and then got everyone out and then maybe you know when the market recover it's gonna jump back up again. So that why is very important um, to uh, you know to to calibrate this with the S and P is is give you an extra I believe ten percent of winning you know but just based on the technical itself. Okay, so basically. 
that is all about the tray. Like I said, I did everything for this, and uh, I did not do the recording. And um, you know, next time you see this, hey, jump on it. All right, and uh, you know, and if you do, put it in the comment section. Let me know. And right now, happy Mother Day, and um, thank you for watching, and happy trading, guys. Thank you. Bye.